Aloha y'all, welcome back to Pete's Treasures. Today I am going to give you a little tour of thrifted lamps we've got from estate sales, thrift stores, and anywhere that is a reselling establishment. Let's start with my favorite. Now Matthew put a flame bulb in this lamp, um, otherwise it wouldn't be flickering, but I love it. It's almost like a tiki lantern. And it is a rope. I don't know if you can see all the way down there, but it's one big coiled rope. And it was like, hmm, it was about $38 or $58, I forget, um, two years ago at an estate sale. And I just love it. I couldn't find anything like it online. I think it's really special and it's a focal point in our house. Um, now I'm only gonna show you ones that we have found at a reselling establishment, not purchased at Ikea or something. This is a vintage treasure craft. Oh, hi, Benjamin. You wanna show them? You wanna show them? Or you wanna play with my microphone? Um, this is a vintage treasure craft TV lamp I got at the Mesquite Antique Gallery, um, which is really close to us, and I absolutely love it. It was, I think, $25, which is a steal. Um, and yeah, very mid-century looking. And of course we have a blue light bulb because we have to be extra. And that is not a tissue holder or a voting ballot box. That is where a plant goes, poot. <laughs> All right, well, these are our babies. It is storming outside so they have not had their playtime um winter storm it is crazy in texas right now let's move along to over here this i got a salvation army about three years ago and i call it my little um like cheeto puff i don't know why um it reminds me of those spaghetti throw up lamps what do you call them? That's spaghetti throw up. <laughs> um, what do you call it? Those chunky, like lucite, um, just ugly lamps th that I love. This was like $8. And so I haven't found anything like it as well. Um, so it's really, really special to me. And another focal point in our living room. I wish I knew the brand. So let me know if y'all know anything about this particular kind of lamp. This is a really cool lamp that I got at an estate sale. It's in our guest bedroom, AKA eBay storage room. Um, I just love how it says brandy and it's like an old, what do you call it, a cask. Now I don't like the lampshade and obviously I don't think that's original, but I got it for like 10 bucks. No, I think it was $20. Sorry, a lot of these I can't really remember the complete price, but it works perfectly for our little creepy corner. And that, in the background, is dogs drinking water. I got this lamp at Texas Thrift in Austin, Texas, and I absolutely love it. It has like gold flecks, and it's like pink and white. And it's just mid-century lamps at its finest. It's very small, and it was very cheap, like $5. And I don't have a shade for it yet, but maybe I'll show you when I do. And yeah, I always see people's really cool mid-century lamp hauls or things that they found and I just this is one of them not as good as some others but it'll do all right I got this lamp from St. Vincent's one of my favorite places and I just love the little regal art deco design it has um, it doesn't have a particular brand I feel like it's vintage but it's not it's not super, super old. And I don't know if this is an original shade. In fact, I think I bought that shade separately, but I really like how it looks in this room. And um, yeah, it was only about $5. Great price for a lamp. This is a little touch lamp. And we added this bulb. Wow. Oh, ignore the fingerprints. Anyways, really, really cool. I actually got two of them and it's modern. I got two of them for like $5 as well. Super, super cheap. And I gave the other one to my brother. 
Now this cutie pie is a jo Joseph original or Joseph original lamp and he is just the cutest. It's like porcelain or bisque, maybe both. I don't really know the difference, but um, it has like a texture to it. And um, anyways, really, really cute. I got it on eBay actually. And um, I don't turn it on all that often, but he's just, you know, awakened from his nap. Either that or he's about to go to bed. And you know, I think this is supposed to work, but I'm not sure. I don't, actually, I don't think so. Anyways, I have a collection of Yosef Original Mice that maybe I'll show one day. And um, I just, I had to get it. All right, this lamp is really, really cool. It has Buddha on there. And I think it was bought at a thrift store, but I can't remember. I just love it. Um, I don't know the brand. A lot of these I don't know the brand, but I just think it works great with Matthew's design aesthetic. Um, right next to Figment is this little Sandman lamp. How cute. I didn't put the bulb in, but let's see where it's from. George Good Corporation. What does that say? 1981. I actually thought it was a little older than that. But he's the Sandman, and, you know, he puts sand on your dreams. <laughs> actually, I forgot what the story was. But he does light up, and he does look extra creepy when he's lit up. That's one of my favorite little lamps that we have. This beauty is in our bathroom, and it is a lighthouse, as you can see. I actually learned some really cool, fascinating facts about lighthouses recently and like the bulb that's at the top. But anyways, that's for another day. This was from St. Vincent and it was $10, but I had a $10 coupon with my reward points. So it was basically free. And I just think it's beautiful. It's kind of made out of stained glass. And yeah, Gorgina. All right, y'all, this lamp right here, this tall drink of water <laughs> um, was free and I love the shade um, we used to be at an apartment complex that had really cool stuff that people would lay out not in the dumpster but next to the dumpster we have so many other things we've gotten from that uh, dumpster area this is perfectly fine it wasn't dirty or anything and you can't be free check out our furniture haul video if you want to see what kinds of furniture we found uh, in that dumpster area as well. Uh, this was from an estate sale. Little, little ship wheel. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word. I just love it. Very vintage looking and it has the original cord. And it was like $2.50. It was like nothing. Not like $2.50 is nothing, but that's super cheap. I love it. It goes with our little cheeky nautical design. All right, this is not the original shade. In fact, we haven't even plugged this in. Actually, I have. It works. But we don't have it plugged in at the moment. It is a Star Wars Rebels lamp. Um, I want to sell it eventually. I don't think it's worth that much. But I got it for like $2. And I'm a big Star Wars fan. So, yeah. I just had to show you. Because it's perfect for this video. Alright, this lamp is not plugged in. Um, but as you can see, we have a lot of lamps in this house. So couldn't plug in all of them but I really really like it we used to have it in our bar area it's very 60s 70s and just really really cool it reminds me of like olives and we actually have a print um of no a printed fabric that's vintage that reminds me of that in our store right now and yeah just very groovy baby and yeah I won't I won't do that again <laughs> and um what was I gonna say y'all Come on, come on. Oh, I got it at Salvation Army for about $5 or less. Really good deal. Okay, this is one of my favorite lamps. I got it at Salvation Army also, and I think it was about $20. Now this bulb is super, super cool. You can dim it. And um, yeah, super, super cool. Very apothecary looking, very like chemist. And yeah, it kind of fits our chandelier with this shape because our chandelier has like a dome shape and I love it. I know I've said this a lot, but this is one of my favorite lamps. 
Um, it is a clam lamb. I don't know the maker, but I got it for like $3 at a thrift store and you can find it on my Wayback Wednesday haul. I think several weeks ago it was there. Um, just, it fits this little nautical aesthetic. This is my little clam shelf. And yeah, let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this area or if you like videos like this where we show and tell our treasures. All right, this lamp was actually free. It's another one of those near the dumpster finds from our old apartment. And Matthew put this really cool light bulb because we're awesome like that. And yeah, what a great lamp for free. Um, we... I love how it has these little shelves on it, and we can display some of our knickknacks. So yeah, free! All right, here's our new tiki area, but what I wanna show you is this beauty, as can be seen in our channel trailer and in our estate sale video, because we got this from an estate sale, not very far from our house, and it was only $3, you guys. It was actually covered in dust, and it's very tiki um, because that is a sea urchin. And um, yeah, it was hard to clean, but I didn't have to do it. It was Matthew. And I think it looks great. And it just fits our design aesthetic as well. And it's one of the favorite lamps that I have. And they said it had been in their house for over 40 years. So I think that's awesome. This is near our bar area. You can see our little you know, my little juices. Um, <laughs> let me know if you want a tour of my bar cart. Um, anyways, this is perfect for this area because it's cocktails and it's a little martini lamp. Um, it reminds me of Ikea, but it's not. I can't remember the maker. I don't think it had one, um, but I'm sure I could find it online. But it was $10 at a Goodwill and I just love it. All right, I saved the best for last. We got this in Wimberley, Texas when I went with my mom and brother. Um, you can see it in our Wimberley, Texas Hill Country vlog. It is worth around $200 or more. And I forget what it's called, like a chemistry cloche or something like that. But um, it's from Restoration Hardware and it was only $20. I could not believe that price. And uh, Matthew put it in this hollowed out vintage TV and we put some of our swung glass vases around it. So yeah, you might see it in other videos we've done outside of this TV, but I think that's kind of a cute place for it. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this thrifted lamp haul. Let me know which ones were your favorites in the comments. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't and check out our other videos. Give this a thumbs up if you like these kinds of videos because sometimes it's fun to see what other people buy um, and keep for themselves. I would love to see everyone's collections because those are kind of the videos I gravitate towards on YouTube. I just think they're fun, almost like a show and tell. Keep digging for treasure and it is not hoarding if you at least try to sell it. And I didn't sell any of these, but I love it. You light up my life. Bye-bye.